Okay, so hello, we're back. Um, we're gonna be working on some lighting in our storage container. It's just an old box truck box. And I picked up some solar panels and the charge controller and all the wires. I'll leave a link to where I got it on Amazon in the description. And then we got some 12 volt lights and then an old car battery. And let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get everything out of the box that's in here. Okay, so this is a 200 watt system. We have 200 watt solar panels right here. And then it came with a 30 amp charge controller. All the wiring. Comes with some instructions. Oh, comes with some nice mounting brackets. There's a charge controller. And yeah. Okay, so we got both the solar panels bolted together, all the mounting brackets on, and we got the plugs in together. You got your positive side and your negative side. So we're gonna go ahead and get these up on the roof and start hooking up the charge controller, the battery, and all that. Okay, so we got the solar charger all hooked up and we got the wires ran to the solar panels outside. Okay, so I just temporarily ran the solar panels, put them on top of my truck, ran the wires down into the box truck. And yeah. And this is the solar controller. So right now we got 12.8 volts. Our battery is almost charged. And we got the solar coming in. That's where the lines come in over there. We got our battery here and we hung our first light up here. So we're gonna get the rest of the lights done going down the top and I'll catch you back when we're done. Okay so we got two of the lights hung up here and hooked up and yeah I'll show you a little closer. Okay, so here's the interior lights that we're using. Um, just 12 volt lights. I guess two, each one draws a quarter of an amp according to our solar charger, charge controller. Um, yeah, here's the specs. I think I got a four pack for like $18. I'll put the link in the description, but pretty nice a aluminum bar. And they come with these clips that you screw, screw up and it just clips in. And yeah, little on and off switch if you want it. And yeah, but so we got those two hooked up. We got another two that we still got to run wires to. And another four more underneath the door. Yeah. I'll be back when we have them all wired up. I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so we got the lights all hooked up along the ceiling up there. All eight of them. We have the door open right now, so that's why it's light in here. And we got them all hooked up to the system and the switch. 
I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door and turn on the lights and show you guys how bright it is in here. Okay, so this is with the lights on in here. Nice and bright. The door's shut. Yeah, got lots of light in here, so it's definitely a win. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more into detail. Okay, so here we go. You can actually see that we're pulling 3.8 amps for all these lights. Um, yeah, I ran it through, got a fuse in it too, and then this is, I just put this as like a switch right here to turn it off and on, and yeah. Sun's going down, so we're not charging that much, but yeah, and then we have one main wire running all along up there, and then each one just teed off. Teed off and then the two link together. And yeah. There we go. It's definitely a win. Nice and bright in here. Yeah. And the real cool thing about all this is I don't have to run an extension cord all the way over here and worry about driving over it and ruining it. Um, it's all solar powered. We got one little old car battery in here. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I definitely would buy these lights again. They are pretty nice. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description for them. But yeah. Eight of them only pulls like 3.9 amps, so I think that's pretty good. And I like said they're like 5,000 lumens. I don't know. Pretty bright. Lights up this 18 by 7 by like 7 foot tall box. No problem. Yeah. There we go.